Hello and welcome to the first of our sales reporting series. I'm Ollie and the first episode is focused on daily sales. This short tutorial will give you an idea of what reports are most popular and best to use for your business with Prima. When you log in and dive into the reporting area, which I've got on screen here, and into reports, you can refine your search results using the filters here at the top. But what I'm going to do is search for all standard reports, so leaving that as standard and searching for all different formats. So by doing so, this will just demonstrate the full list on screen. As you can see, there are various reports available, but you can filter based on a specific module if you wish, which in this instance I do. So I'm going to look for sales order processing, hit the search again, and that'll then refine my um, reports for what I'm after. Now, sales order processing reports are based on either sales order data and sales invoice data as well. So the invoice uh, reports will state that in the name. So as you can see, invoice lines, invoice sales analysis, etc. Now, if I was to customize any of these reports, which you can do, so putting filters on based on account managers, anything along those lines, um, when you save them, they then are available as a custom report. So you can rename them, give them a new name, and then as you can see, some custom reports in the system, such as account manager commission reports, send of day figures, etc., can then be configured, saved as custom, and then set up for the automation if needs be as well. Now, diving back into the standard versions, the ones we're going to focus on today are the sales dashboard and sales analysis. Now, both these reports are based on sales order data, so it's important to note these figures can change prior to invoicing due to the likes of back orders, cancellations, returns, and other scenarios. So, invoice data should be used to pay the likes of commissions, of course, your invoice sales analysis, um, salesperson, um, profitability, those kind of reports that, that are in the system. Okay, so we'll focus on, first of all, the sales dashboard. So if I just open that report uh, in the system. Now, as it says in the tin, this report is designed as a dashboard view to give you uh, quick fire information into the likes of top classifications, uh, top items, bottom items, etc. So when you first open the report, and if I just maximize that, then what you should see is the dashboard screen just here. So this sales dashboard now, as you can see, it's got the likes of costs, profits, turnovers, margins. Um, so this report, from a daily sales point of view, is really key to give you kind of quick fire information of uh, what's in there. Um, one thing, again, that's important to note is in the criteria, you can actually refine the date period if you wanted to. So if I wanted to look at um, today, yesterday, this week, last week, etc., then you can refine um, the results to that. So I'll just do this week, just because it's a test database. But of course, you may have that to be today, yesterday, depending on the automation you're going to enable um, as well. So into the spreadsheet, as you can see, it's got a whole raft of information from top and bottom classifications, top and bottom items, and also then some rep performance and overall activity within here too. So as I say, snapshot information, you can see everything on screen, and if you want to, so in terms of these figures that I can see on screen, I can then drill down into the tabs that are available, such as sales orders, sales order lines, total values, etc., classifications, all these different options, so you can see then some more information um, in there if you wanted to as well. Okay, so quick and easy, that's a sales dashboard, um, and if you were to customise a report, remove any fields out, etc., when you save as, you can then call that to be, I don't know, sales dashboard this week just as an example hit ok and that is then a custom report set up in the system so um, we do have a webinar dedicated to automated reports so if you did want to set up an automated routine you can do through um, the administration area which will include on the um, YouTube chat uh, just now as well okay and into the next report so if I close out of there and the next one we're looking at is the sales analysis so the analysis reports really popular and um, probably the most popular report in the system is a, a report that provides you with the ability to uh, drag and drop information and build your own custom report so if you want to see um, quantities for usage reports if you wanted to see profits if you wanted to see it by company by account manager this report allows you to actually build a report that you're looking to do so it gives you all the options and you can then build from there so again we do have a webinar dedicated to analysis uh, reporting which is about 28 minutes long and it'll give you a full uh, run through of these reports but just a quick fire information if i make this bigger and at the moment what we can see is in the rows which is in this section here is the account code and company name and in the data, we've got the net and the net margin, which is shown in this section just here. So a few um, tips and tricks for this report um, to begin with would be in the attribute section on your left-hand side here, if I just make that bigger, 
then these are all the actual attributes you can have in the report. So as you can see, account codes are already in there, and so is company name. It may be the case that for your daily sales, you're wanting to filter it by account manager, classifications, and again, you can create as many variations of the report as you want to as well. So if I wanted my first one to be by account manager, by company, and perhaps I'm wanting to find out further information such as um, the classifications they're buying as well. So I can bring all this information in, or I can just literally take away the information I'm not interested in, and then see, I guess, classification analysis, um, account manager analysis, if we bring that back in. So as you can see, drag and drop, bring the information in that you need to, and you can then literally see um, all the figures for that period, which of course is setting the criteria there to be either this week, that day, etc. Um, one thing within the um, sales analysis report, which is quite popular, is if I scroll down, there is then the option for the status. So you can actually see then where those orders are up to in the system. So of course, if they are ordered, um, requested, allocated, dispatched, etc., you can then see exactly where they're up to as well. If you're wanting to put a total against the reports, then you can right click in the grid, display totals, and then you can then see an overall there at the bottom as well. And of course, if you wanted to have a look at overalls as well, then you can take everything away, and that is then the figures for that period that's set within your criteria section just there. And with the data, so the net of the margin, you can then, in the bottom left in your measures, you can then bring in, if you want to see usage, if you want to see profits, you can then drag and drop into that area and then see that information from there. And again, once you're happy with your report, save as, give it a name, save it into the system, and that's then there for you to use in future um, reporting. Okay, so that's everything for today's session. If you have any questions at all, myself and Mike will be on the live chat um, shortly afterwards. Um, have a great weekend, and we'll see you all next week. Oh, my God.